got a long head, lateral head. So you can see a nice merging of the lateral long heads of the triceps with that large, thick medial head muscle underneath. And you get that, you get the deep to it. See the tendons coming in. You can see the tendons converging from, again, from the three muscles. The medial head on the bottom. See the triceps tendon now inserting on the olecranon. Here it is, the triceps tendon inserting on the olecranon. There's some anisotropy there of the fibers as they approach the olecranon. And now we're in the olecranon fossa. We can appreciate the olecranon fat pad sitting within that very deep olecranon fossa. Sure. Here's the sagittal view. You can see that very deep olecranon well, fossa. Is 1835, we're looking at the triceps tendon insertion on the olecranon. And now we're going proximal. You can appreciate that very thick, deep medial head of the triceps. A nice feathery texture to the muscles. And here you can see the lateral head of the triceps just merging on top of the medial head. Six now, we're going somewhat medial. And here we're in the long head, similar to the lateral head, where you can just see it basically fanning into the medial head. Looking at the long head of the triceps, now we're going distally, which is on the left side of the screen. It's interesting, you can see how these tendons form in the muscles. Initially, and proximally, that tendon is very thin within the muscle, and then it kind of broadens as it becomes the triceps tendon distally. Here we are again distally, we can see that thick triceps tendon inserting on the olecranon. Here with some motion, you can see how the fat pad moves within that olecranon fossa with both flexion and extension of the elbow. Here's the olecranon fossa with flexion, and you can see that that posterior opening is not as broad as compared to when the arm is extended. Nice view of the triceps tendon just forming. We're really proximal now. It's like little bundles kind of coming together. We're at 839, and then they kind of converge into this triceps tendon. 39 again, it's like an oblique kind of tendon here, and now we're just leveling out our pro. Here's a nice view of the triceps tendon distally towards its insertion on the olecranon. Let's try to take a look at the radial nerve that's on the posterior aspect of the uh, emerald. 1840, you can see the superficial and deep branches of the radial nerve. I'm going to just try to follow those guys up. So here we are anteriorly in the cubital crease, essentially, towards the lateral aspect. We can see the capitellum. You can see the brachioradialis muscle on the left side of the screen. And then the radial nerve dives deep, becoming the posterior interosseous nerve after it enters the supinator muscle and also the superficial radial nerve that basically runs right underneath the brachioradialis muscle. Here we're going a little bit proximal. You can see the radial nerve between the brachioradialis and the brachialis muscles. And note how the radial nerve is hyperechoic relative to the muscles. Now we're posteriorly and proximally. You can see the radial nerve just posterior to the humeral shaft. Again, you can appreciate the triceps muscles. And here I think you're also seeing the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm which branches off the radial nerve proximally.